Hi, welcome to Build Your First Node.js website. I'm Ruth Willenborg, a distinguished engineer at IBM. In this first part, I'm going to show you how to bring up a Node.js server. It's kind of like a hello world server, um, but I've also added a counter. And what you'll be able to do here is bring up your own Node.js server without installing anything on your laptop. We'll be using IBM Bluemix under the covers and DevOps services. Uh, after you complete part one, I have two more parts in the series. Uh, part two adds the Express Framework, so you get to work with HTML pages. And then part three adds a database service. So this first example, what you'll be doing is bringing up a Node.js server on IBM Bluemix. And it's got a server handler so that it accepts requests from a browser. So you'll be using your browser, going to the URL that you deployed on, um, and your application will accept that. It's going to increment an internal counter, and it's also going to send back uh, whatever text you ask uh, it to send back. And that will be uh, written back out um, into the browser. So let's get started. We're going to do this project in IBM's DevOps Services, which is a hosted development environment. So you can use this without doing any installation. When you sign in, you'll have an option to fork code. When you follow this, you'll be able to choose from all kinds of different projects as starting points. So you never need to start from scratch. When I search on Ari Willen, I find the projects for my article and we're going to start with the first one. So I just select it and then I hit this fork button over on the right hand side and I give it a new name for my project. And this is just going to take a minute or two as it makes a complete copy of this project that I can work with. The project is now all set up and I can go in and edit the code. You'll be following the step-by-step -step directions for the exact code changes to make, but let me just show you one right now live, which says hello from demo. So I make that change in the app.js code, and then I go in to deploy. The deployment's automatically going to know about my Bluemix account, and I can just hit deploy, or if I want, I can change this to an easier to remember URL. Under the covers, this went out to Bluemix and it started up a Node.js uh, container out there and it deployed my application into it. And I can now come here and I can follow this link, which says TJ Node 1, the name of my host. And here it is. Hello from demo. We've had one visit goodbye, which is what my code was programmed to do. And if I hit the refresh button, we'll see that counter go up. That's it. You now have a running Node.js server, and you can continue to make uh, any kind of changes that you want to that code. Okay, now it's your turn to give it a try. You can go to IBM Bluemix and sign up for your free trial. The link is here to my article that has the step-by-step -step directions. There are also printable uh, sushi cards, uh, one page at a time, and we've designed these to make it easy enough for kids, so I know you guys can all do this. Uh, and I also have an activity kit now that's uh, built out as a one-hour learning module around this um, project. So everybody, time to get hands-on and start building your first Node.js website. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and how we can improve things.